You go right ahead. So this is the Mr. John Beadle at his uh, art showing today. Tell me, Mr. Beadle, uh, tell me about this piece right here behind you. This piece started out as a uh, adjunct to a large commission I had done. Mm -hmm. I had some ideas, leftovers from that commission. I wanted to see what it looked like. If I spent more time, spend more time, it's more deliberate with some of the things I want to do. Okay. Um, I made some mistakes, not mistakes, but what I thought was different kinds of moves mm -hmm. or different kinds of patterns mm -hmm. and gouges in the commission piece. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see if I could um, replicate that one and then design a piece with, um, with those designs in mind. Okay. Beforehand, this was, this was the first circular one. Okay. So working on a circle was kind of different. Okay. Kind of different from working on a square. Okay. So I felt like I had to orchestrate it differently. Well, what's this one name? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can tell you right now. <laughs> oh, the name's there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can remember it. Oh, no. I'm going to snow. I can't remember it. Can't remember it? No. Okay, no, we'll, we'll skip that then. Yeah, so, uh, how much how much one of these go for, though? You gotta ask those. Okay, I'll ask him. I think it's like 24,000. 24,000? Wow. Yeah. So where do they normally sell though? They sell internationally or they sell locally here in the in the Bahamas? I mean, this is the first this is the first show I've I have had these ones. Mm. Um, the commission ones here. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I don't like talking about that kind of stuff though. Okay, no, no problem, no okay, problem. So we could we could cut that one out. Yeah, oh, no problem. This will be thank you so much for your time. I just wanted to get some more shots around the room. Yeah. And so you have nineteen pieces all together here today, right? Nineteen. Nineteen? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'll just walk around. You wanna walk me around to the other ones as well? Okay. Yeah. We just um, Okay. There's another one here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no worries. We we'll go to the next one here. You have some sculptures outside as well, don't you? Yeah, two outside. Um, okay. Yeah, two outside. Okay. You wanna tell me about this one over here now? I think this one is But you were saying you were working with metal with this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's so special about the metal? I want a different feel. Different feel? Yeah. While wood feels pliable, mm -hmm. wood feels kind of soft even though it's dense. The same mm -hmm. feels softer than metal. I wanted something that really can talk about rigidity. Mm -hmm. um, and metal did, did it for me. Okay. Yeah. When I was here earlier, I saw one with a cardboard piece, man. With the, with the, the cardboard the, piece? Yeah, it was a cardboard piece, yeah. That you made oh, the cardboard, oh, oh, oh. yeah. That belongs to that. Series in the back of you. Okay, okay, I'll, the I'll turn around. Piece, the cardboard, the piece that made it, we're talking about security. That's okay. what it's about. Talk about security and personal space and how you got personal space. Okay, I got you. Um, I was kind of playing with while the first one, some of the ones I did, they used metal. Okay. I want to use cardboard, it's like boring for my own, um, my junk, you know, experience. Okay. And I want to play with the idea of like paper hmm. being. Being a psychologically depends on how you set up, it feels as strong and imposing as is, is metal. Wow, okay, I got you. That's good. Thank you so much, Mr. Beetle. No Good time. Whatsoever.